Hi, I'm Jim Covington. Today is July 30th, 2015. I'd like to welcome you to this week's issue of ISBA State House Review. I have about seven uh, new public acts that I'd like to talk to you about. Uh, the first one is actually what I would consider a pretty big deal. It's Public Act 99-178. It amends the Mechanics Lien Act to allow Illinois to be the 50th state in the union to now have a, where a lien claimant can proceed directly against a bond substituted for the lien for the owner's real estate or funds. It's designed to get the contractor paid quicker and get the actual dispute out of the way as opposed to bogging down a construction project for a long period of time with all the ancillary litigation that Mechanics Lien Act may tend to uh, breed. Um, the court may dismiss all the parties uh, except the principal, surety of the bond, and the lien claimant. Defenses against the lien claimant are limited to those that could be properly asserted by the principal or the contracting owner. There's more to it that I've got on the PDF, uh, but if you do any kind of work in that area, you might take a look at it. That will take effect January 1 of 2016. The next uh, bill is uh, amends the child support fine section and it's public act 99-157. It was introduced by Representative Wallace from Rockford and Senator uh, Kimberly Lightford from Chicago and it gives the Department of Healthcare and Family Services the power to level administrative fines and liens against a payor who willfully fail, fails after receiving two reminders from HFS to withhold or pay over income under a properly served income withholding notice or otherwise fails to comply with any other duties under the Income Withholding for Support Act. Uh, that's not going to take effect to July 17, July 1 of 2017. Uh, that's a long uh, lead to time on the effective date, but since that's a pretty uh, significant change in the law, I think probably there was some lead time there to built in, I think. Um, the next bill is Public Act 99-18, uh, amends the uh, uh, what units of local government and counties may do on collection of fines and penalties. It allows a default in the payment of a fine or penalty or any installment to be collected in any way that any other monetary judgment is collected, allows the state's attorney to retain attorneys and private collection agents to collect them and their fees to be charged to the offender. That takes effect January 1 of 2016 as well. Uh, the next bill amends the uh, civil discovery as part of the Code of Civil Procedure, specifically Section 2-1003. Uh, it was introduced by Senator Andre Thepetti of Chicago and, represented, and, and Senator Mike Conley of uh, Wheaton, uh, Representative Thepetti and uh, Senator Conley. And basically what this bill does, um, it looks like it's doing a whole lot, but what I think it's doing, it's basically deleting out uh, sections of the Code of uh, Civil Procedure on Discovery that have been superseded by Supreme Court rules. So they were either, they were either duplicative or they were just, uh, they didn't mesh with what the Supreme Court was doing. And of course, once the Supreme Court puts its foot down in an area, generally the rule of thumb is that it's going to control. Uh, that takes effect on January 1, 2016. The next bill inter, uh, amends the Uniform Interstate Family Support Act. It's Public Act 99-119, introduced by Senator Bob Martwick of Chicago, uh, pardon me, Representative Bob Martwick and Senator John Mulrow of Chicago, and it makes technical and substantive changes to the current Illinois Act to incorporate the 2008 amendments recommended by the National Conference of Commissioners on Uniform State Laws that takes effect January 1, 2016. Uh, the final bill uh, amends the Adoption Act. It's uh, Public Act 99-49, introduced by Representative Keith Summer from Morden and Senator Don Harmon from Oak Park, and it provides for the readoption and confirmation of a foreign adoption decree of a child adopted in a foreign country, and it provides documentation and procedural requirements. There's more to it than that, but if you do any adoption work or you have a foreign adoption, it's, it's worth looking at. That took effect immediately on July 15, 2015. Thank you for listening and we'll see you next week.